What's up guys man, I got a lot of things to talk about trending right now on social media. We got something on uh, Peter Obi. Um, Peter Obi is my preferred candidate. I don't know about you, but all you have to do is to go and get your PVC and then vote for the person you believe in. And we still have something on Tinubu, actually not having primary and secondary school results or certificates. And that is being dragged on social media. I will talk about uh, Border Boy. Border Boy coming out to speak something that is getting people uh, you know, to talk in controversial lights. He said, people don't understand that live performances are my biggest strength. But what people are now saying is that he's yet to come out to address the Lagos club shooting. And that is getting people interested at a point like this. Before I jump right in, I want to take out this time to really appreciate you guys for watching my videos and sharing them across social media platforms. If you are new here, click the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. <music> Alright, let's talk about uh, politics before we proceed with the entertainment part of it. Just in, Tunubu didn't attend primary school and secondary school. Uh, that is something now trending. My university certificate is stolen by unknown soldiers. Tunubu tells INEC. This is in a recent uh, screening and I think, uh, yes, this is not the first time we're having somebody coming out to say, I don't have primary or secondary school certificate, but to the boost case, how did he get into university? That is what they are now asking. Are we going to be, you know, allowing this to come up from time to time where you'll be speaking with another person from another country who will tell you that your president didn't go to school? That is what we need to understand. And now, uh, to understand, I think uh, we still have to look in that direction, find a way to crafting policies laws and you know kind of constitutional laws to um call this kind of uh, issue from coming out from time to time we have something on uh, peter Obi not having structure that is uh the blessing of a lot of people saying uh peter Obi has no structure or labor party has got no structure is not going to win but you should understand that human beings are the political structure we are supposed to talk about but in nigeria it's no longer human being it's about the money you have or you could spend in your uh, at your political rallies that is what uh, some people believe it to be and uh, somehow they have uh, named peter will be say peter will be not the gift she she will not the gift she she and that is a great way to go because looking at the lives of peter will be you will understand that this guy has contributed to the development of the economy of Anambra State. And based on his uh, recent um, you know, um, uh, speakings and the rest, you will understand also that he's got a lot to contribute to Nigeria economy. And when we speak today, we are talking about the economic uh, policies, economic uh, concerns about Nigeria. And that is what we've been speaking from time to time and a lot of people are getting loud at this. I have this coming out. Obi Kwankwaso played the waiting game on presidential candidate running mate. That is what is now trending. You know, these guys, they've submitted their running mate, you know, kind of which is substitutable uh, pending where, what the result later. But right now, we're having a consultation between the Labour Party, New Nigerian People's Party, and that is what we are waiting for. According to this report, Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi and his new Nigerian People's Party counterpart, Senator Rabi Kwankwaso, are yet to reach an agreement on the issue of presidential candidate and running mate. This is as the joint panel set up to work out an alliance between the two candidates submitted its report for consideration. Kwan Paso, a former Kano state governor who is believed to command a formidable followership in the north with his Kwan Kwasia movement, is planning to join forces with Obi, a former Anambra state governor who 
popularity, whose popularity among the youth in the southern part of the country and social media continues to spread. The NMPP uh, candidate had confirmed an interview about a week ago that a committee was set up to work out an alliance and that conversation is ongoing. That is what we are getting right now. And anytime soon, we may be seeing a merger from Pampa so and uh, Peter Obi's party. And that is going to command a great weight. And people are really saying that Peter Obi has no structure. But looking at the Nigerian polity, Nigerian environment, you will understand that the youth are solidly behind Pampa so and um, Peter Obi to an extent. That is something. Because looking at the Pampa so's movement in the north, and Peter Obi's movement in the South, you will understand that the youth, which makes uh, the large chunk of Nigerian population, they are ready to vote these guys. And imagine the party is going to bring a lot of, uh, you know, kind of consolation, a lot of, uh, you know, threatening opportunities for other political parties. Nobody is talking about PDP right now. It's always APC versus Peter Obi. And that is what people are really talking about, checking out uh, things on social media. And recently, Kwan Baso, uh got a visit from, uh, you know, uh, Yesi Wiki. I remember that uh, uh, a person of Peter Obi visited Wiki a few days ago. I think uh, this is a smart move coming in from the party. And people are really saying that Wiki, is Wiki going to join Peter Obi? Because Wiki is a staunch PDP faithful and uh, people are really getting disturbed because of uh, the rejection and the decision the party uh, PDP made against Wiki in recent time. And away from that, let's talk music. You know, let's talk about the entertainment industry. Bonner Boy came out to say people don't understand that live performances are my biggest strength. Uh, you know, he said this in 2016. And we are beginning to see the results of that in, you know, 2021, 2022, and beyond. And people are really saying that Bonner Boy knows how to do the stage craft very well, and we should give it to him. I keep saying that when you talk about stage presence, you give it to Bonner Boy. When you talk about, you know, uh, social media presence, you give it to uh, Davido. When you talk about streaming platforms, it's whiskey. That is something I keep saying from time to time. And on YouTube is the video that is bigger than these guys. Uh, all the same, these guys, they've contributed in exporting Afrobeat to other parts of the world, uh, especially Europe and America. And they are receiving this with their food chest. And that is one thing I need to celebrate about Nigeria entertainment industry thank you guys for actually listening to free receive consider subscribing if you are new here click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon i love you guys keep supporting us